Good day folks. So welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> um, a little bit of an update here. D due to circumstances beyond my control, I'm not going to be able to get, bring the second part of the, the mini DSO shootout until um, Saturday. Yeah, but in the meantime, I thought I'd have a look at uh, you know, the problems with the first uh, Finerci 138 Pro that I got. Okay, I don't know if you saw that or not, but uh, here, we'll bring it around again. We'll go here, we'll change it to 10X, and then we'll you know, do some changes here and there. There, see? Flash is white, this gets reset, everything gets reset. Uh, it's got this problem where it resets and it looks like it's, it's when the board flexes or you know gets vibration And uh, what I noticed I mean it is all part here so but I'll, I'll show you what I noticed if you look in here There's uh, this little coil here right this inductor um, In this model here. It was skewed to one side even worse than what this one is here I don't know if you can notice but it was pretty bad and then I poked it with this little uh, flag skewer or whatever they're called, canapé stick. And I poked it, and it, it kind of moved, like this one doesn't move, it's in there pretty solid. It, it moved when I poked at it. And then when I took it apart, um, it, it fell off the board. So I'm not 100% sure if this is indeed the problem, but I would imagine this has got something to do with uh, one or more of the power supplies. And certainly, if that was making a bad connection, which it does look like it was, that would cause uh, the thing to reset or behave in the way it was behaving. So what I'm going to do in this very short video is I'm going to try and, and fix that. And it's just a surface mount device here. I'm not going to put it into an oven and reflow it or anything like that, but I'll, I'll just touch it up with, with the tip of a soldering iron. So I'll clean all this, the solder here off with uh, some solder wick and then I'll really solder this down. This shouldn't be too hard to solder down. It's a pretty big item. Uh, but I'm going to have to do that over on my soldering desk and I don't have uh, the means to put a camera over there. So anyway, let me get the, my soldering iron all warmed up and get this thing cleaned up and resoldered. And then we can test it to see if it works. Well, there, I got it soldered on. So I'm also going to take the opportunity, I'm going to solder on the little four pin right angle header that they give you to this point here for access to the function generator. I'll take this opportunity to get that soldered on there and I'm going to clean up. Okay, so I got everything soldered up. I put that header on there. I got everything fucks cleaned up off both sides of the board. And now I've just hooked it up. So I've just uh, put the display into the connector there and connected up the battery and uh, now it's the moment of truth so let me get that situated so you can see everything really well hopefully and uh, we'll turn it on it's all rather precarious here but well looks like things are working pretty well so far now moving anything around on the board here it doesn't seem to reset it and what was happening is I was First time I noticed it, I was I was hitting this change button to go around to the different parameters, and uh, that would be second from the left here, or second from the right. And as I went around, every now and then we just reset on me, and it's not doing that now. I feel cautiously optimistic about saying it's fixed. So I'm going to I'm going to reassemble it. That might put a little stresses on the board and that may cause problems, but uh, let's get that reassembled now. Look finicky. From taking it apart, it looks like it's going to be a little finicky process. I won't bore you with that. I'll come back when the thing is assembled. So actually putting that base plate on there was not finicky at all. So this is the finicky part. Yeah, just in case you're interested, it's getting this um, getting this thing lined up. So what they've given you here, or given us here, is this little uh, yeah, so it looks like it has to go on like this. 
this little frame here, which I guess it holds the display in proper position. And so it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Now I just got to make sure things are clean. I don't want to get any dust under there. So we'll use a mint free paper towel. We can get the dust off of that. It looks pretty good. And now there's some little bits of dust on the screen here. I'll get those off. Call that good enough for Canada. Everything lines up around those buttonholes. Oh, that's on this side or that side. I hate dust. Maybe I'm just being too anal out there. That looks pretty good. And then uh, put some screws into place here. So if, uh, if this works, then I'm going to have uh, two of these. And in all the likelihood, I won't need any of them. But that's just where the cookie crumbles. Actually, uh, you know, I'm going to be giving one to the guy who's supposedly paying me back for one. So if you if you watched my uh, original video, I might put a link to it up here where I unbox these or got them in the mail. So this whole idea of doing the shootout was the result of a discussion between me and a couple of guys, and they each uh, agreed to pay for one and take possession of it once the test was over. So I'll I'll end up with one of these anyway, possibly this one. And there, it's working. It's working like in a famous fashion. Let me tilt this up a little bit so we get the glare off it, so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, let's ch hit the change button. Yeah, everything's it's changing. And got 10x there. Let's go 500 microseconds, one millisecond. 50 microseconds, 20 microseconds, 10 microseconds is the lowest. Yeah, okay. So I, it's not resetting. I mean, hopefully it resets if you hit the reset button. Yes, it does. And that goes back to X1. I guess it doesn't have any way to store how you set it up. So it just goes back to whatever way you had it set. So let me see something here. I mean, you should be doing this in the actual test, but uh, you guys will get a sneak preview. So let's hit the change button until we get over here to the coupling. And let's see, we change that to DC. Now, if we hit reset, let's move it off there just in case that might have a... Now we hit reset, does, oh, does that change back to AC? No, it doesn't. So it remembers that, but it doesn't remember the probe. I'd call that a little bit of a bug. So you see it, change the probe, you have, oh, a little too far. Change the probe, you've got to get down here onto the vertical sensitivity and hit the OK button for a long period of time and that changes the probe so now it's 10x probe so if we uh, move off there so we can read it so it's now reading 100 millivolts rather than 10 millivolts and uh, but unfortunately if you have to reset it for one reason or another you lose that and you have to go back and set it all right so it looks like this is uh, this is working just fine um, successful little repair not all my repairs are 100% successful, so I like it when they are. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and we will be back on Saturday to finish up our mini DSO shootout. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye.